Hello, my fellow Chinese people and my fellow people of all the races. Congratulations on making it to the White People's State of America. This is James Wong, and welcome to this brand new episode of James Wong's Unboxing America, the ultimate experiencing the America travel guide. In today's episode, I will tell you what you can do to get the new fancy thing here in town, mass discrimination. Okay, so let's start with the basics. Discrimination in general has always been America's biggest tourist attraction and its national spirit. And I know many of you have come to experience authentic American style discrimination and learn how to do it from the best people in the world. As we all know, American people are simple people living in harmony with nature and holding a strong belief in what is natural. So, in America, people just love seeing the natural naked face of the founding fathers of the nation, which means a white man's face without anything on it. So, when you are in America, as long as you have a face that is different from this ideal, you will be immediately greeted with the American discrimination based on gender, skin color, makeup, and of course, face mask. However, because of the recent outbreak of the coronavirus, also called the Chinese virus in America, or the Wuhan virus in China, or the wild game virus in Wuhan. Mass discrimination is now the most fashionable discrimination of them all. So, if you come to America to experience discrimination and want to get the newest, most authentic experience possible, try a face mask. You will not be disappointed. Now, if you are Chinese, or if you look like a Chinese, then you can experience the newest of the newest discrimination, the diseased Chinese, by simply putting these cheap surgical masks like this on your face. So to wear this kind of mask, you first put it in front of your face and you pull the string towards your ears like this. Then you press this hard part up here and make sure it fits to your nose. And of course, because you're Chinese, you have a smaller nose, then you have to press it harder. And then you pull down this lower edge and you press everywhere and make sure the whole mask fits to your face. And then you're done. Now, if you wear such a mask on your next trip to hoarding your local supermarket, you can immediately get the disease Chinese discrimination delivered right to you. Especially if your local government has not asked every person to wear face covering in public. And unless, you may even go to your local anti-lockdown protest. Those people will definitely freak out, they will keep away from you, and they will not touch what you touch. Some people will even get into your face and curse you and harass you and push you and even punch you. And beyond that, you can even help dissipate that crowd and do good to public health. How cool is that? And to make this even go further, remember that the thicker you look, the better quality discrimination you will get. If you're good at acting, just pretend you're sick. You just stand very, very close to other people and cough and sneeze incessantly right by their side and you are guaranteed to experience the highest quality premium design, completely updated 20 day version of mass discrimination with an incredibly rich blend of fear, anger, and hatred. But now the big problem is, because of the current surge in coronavirus cases in America, some places have started to order everyone to wear a face mask when they are outside, which makes it really hard to distinguish yourself as a target for discrimination. Well, luckily, even if everyone around you is wearing a mask, you still have other options to stand out from that crowd. So first of all, you can use a street-style bandana. This works better for younger people with darker complexion, and especially well if you are wearing a cap and a hoodie at the same time. If you appear in the right places in the right way, such as walking past the place, then you can get the spicy criminal-style mask discrimination, or should I say crimination. And for people with a Middle Eastern background, you can also try Islamic handwear to cover your face, such as a niqab. This is another unique blend of mask discrimination that accentuates 
the taste of fear. Tip, you can further upgrade this look by bringing a black tote bag that appears to have something heavy in it. And again, if you do it right, you will have a wonderful memorable time with horrified Americans screaming inside or actually screaming out loud. Now, because people are opting for all sorts of masks to stand out, first-time travelers sometimes fall for bad choices like costume masks or some tech series that I know turn to anti-visual recognition masks like this one. Well, technically, you can wear such a mask, but in my opinion, the effect of this mask can be mixed. Since people may think you're just getting out of a costume coffee party or some protest. And speaking of spam, here's a pitfall that you really need to avoid when shopping for masks. Some sellers are now selling one of these KKK masks that have been so very poorly for the past decade. Don't buy those. They can sell well among travelers for a reason. On the opposite of being discriminated against, the KKK mask is actually a symbol of white American nationality. They are the mask of white patriots who have devoted their whole lives to building this great nation. So if you wear a KKK mask, you will be warmly welcomed by the white natives, and you may even be invited to their patriotic parties. And that is not what we are here for. So that concludes this episode of James Bond's Unboxing America, the ultimate experience in the America travel guide. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you all find your favorite mask and enjoy this full-blown mask discrimination while you can. If you like this video, please give your thumb up below. If you want to keep up with some US American travel tips in the future, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications. I will introduce you to many other American things that you can experience, like seeing the American Green Wall and touring the prison system. Oh, and before you go, please don't forget to check out my new channel, Unboxing China, the ultimate experience in China travel guide. In this new series, I will introduce you to all the amazing things you can do in China, such as becoming a ride in Hong Kong, becoming a terrorist in Xinjiang, being called the N-word in Guangdong, or being placed for saying things on the internet. And remember again to sum up and subscribe. I'm James Wong, and I'll see you in the next episode. Special thanks. This episode of Unboxing America is made possible by the generous sponsorship of people who don't stay at home, people who don't wear masks in public, people who attack mask wearers and make others afraid of wearing masks, and people who blame other groups and communities for everything. Thank you so much for letting coronavirus out of control and making this episode possible. Smile face, heart heart heart.